Training started. Insufficient power. Range wraps required. Construction started. Construction started. Building ready to place. Construction started. Death hand preparing for launch. Death hand ready for launch. Building ready to place. Upgrading building. New construction options are now available. Construction started. Construction started. Building ready to place. Construction started. Construction started. Construction started.
enemy structure captured. Construction options are now available. Victory is yours. I saw this. All of it. You have the sight. Don't pretend ignorance. My Bene Gesserit sisters knew of my history. Of my time among the Fremen. It's true. You drank the water of life. You survived the weirding ritual. How else could I do as my sisters commanded? Without the power of the Blessed Water, I could never have survived the scrutiny of the Emperor's seers. But you did. And Carino is dead by your hand. Perhaps you are the one. The atrocity was born of duty. I served you well. You expect more from me? What do you want from me? You dare to use the voice! You dare to enter my mind unbidden! You are not what you seem, Reverend Mother. What horror are you planning? This interview is over. You will obey us, sister, or you will die. Die! I can only die once. There are deaths, and there are deaths! You will obey us. Know then that the first great spice war on the planet Arrakis has ended. The Emperor Carino is dead, poisoned by his concubine, the Lady Ilara. Now, a new war rages for the control of the Golden Lion Throne. A great civil war between the noble houses of the Lansrad. Only three houses remain with the resources and ability to seize control of the throne. The noble Atreides, the insidious Ordos, the evil Harkonnen. All three are evenly poised. All three are equally committed. All three know that the key to victory lies on a vast, barren, waterless world. Arrakis, home of the most precious substance in the known universe. The spice melange. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The spice is vital to space travel. A new war begins. Each of the three great houses must attempt to gain the majority of occupied territories on the planet. Who controls Arrakis controls the Spice. And who controls the Spice controls the universe. The 
reign of House Carino is ended. Another house must take its place. I am Shafla. I represent the Spacing Guild's interest in this matter. Under the terms of the Great Convention, a limited form of warfare known as the War of Assassins has been declared by three factions. House Atreides, House Harkonnen, and House Ordos. The rules of conflict prescribe formal declarations of intent. Who would speak for House Atreides? I am the Duke Achilles of Arrakis. Of Arrakis! Oh my, that is too rich. I see the Atreides still harbor delusions of superiority. I was told I would be able to speak. Baron, you will have your time. Indeed, I will. House Atreides will abide by the terms of the Great Convention. Our intent is to secure the planet Arrakis and oversee the production of spice for the good of all. Baron Rakan. I had hoped to avoid this unfortunate conflict. My intent was to make a gesture of peace. Peace? We have oft times seen the Harkonnen's treachery. While he talks of peace, he plans for war. Talk is irrelevant. Peace is not an option. Who is this creature? It speaks for the Executrix of House Ordos. Is the Executrix afraid to speak for themselves? Are they so cowardly? We are the Executrix of House Ordos. We fear nothing. We will abide by the terms prescribed by this council. We will eliminate all competitors in the end. We will prevail. All other considerations are trivial. Let it be war then! We will take Arrakis! We will control we the will space! Control nothing! Enough! Know then that the War of Assassins has begun. The war will be limited to the planet Arrakis. Use of atomics is forbidden. So long as these rules are followed, the Guild will not interfere. But understand this. During this conflict, and following it, no matter what the outcome, the spice must flow. This council is ended. The war begins. It has never ended. Arrakis lies at the hub of the universe. Once more, the wheel is poised to turn. House Harkonnen, from the volcanic wasteland of Gidi Prime. The Harkonnen know only malevolence, hatred, and brutality. Their leader is the corrupt and vile Baron Rakan. Rakan's power-hungry sons, Gunsang and Kopek, eagerly await the Baron's death. Each plots to take his place, but while he lives, they feed upon him like parasites. Have you no tongue? Perhaps you're wiser than your appearance dictates. I am the Mentat, Yanat Kobal. Have no fear. You are not to be killed. The Baron will postpone that small pleasure as long as you are of use to us. No doubt you've heard. The Baron Rakan is not well. Soon one of his sons will take his place. You do well to ingratiate yourself to them. They may not be as far-sighted as their father. This way, It's to be war, sublime war, 
We will crush the Atreides and the Orlos, and then we will defile the bodies of their dead. All hail the Padisha Emperor Rakan Harkonnen! Your brother praises me, while he looms like a vulture waiting to feed upon my corpse. Could I ask for a more suitable heir? You could ask. <laughs> mother, mother, can I get you something? No, leave, leave me, leave me! Both of you! Why are you hovering there, Mentat? Step forward. What have you brought me here? It is the replacement you requested, my Lord Baron. It doesn't look like much. If this one performs as badly as the last one, I'll have you strangled along with it. This sickness makes me forgetful. <sighs> it is your predecessor. <laughs> Observe closely. This unappealing, waterless ball of dust is the planet Arrakis. But make no mistake, a handful of that dust is worth your life a hundred times over. Now, your training begins. In the name of Giddy Prime, I welcome you. You have been given a rare opportunity, Commander. You've been chosen to command the Harkonnen forces in this War of Assassins. A war that will determine the next heir to the Golden Lion Throne, the next ruler of the known universe. Destroy the base, Commander. Kill the enemy. Yes. Remember, the destiny of House Harkonnen is tied to Arrakis and the Spice Melange. He yes. who controls Arrakis controls the Spice, and he who controls the Let's Spice controls the universe. House Harkonnen must yes. control the Spice. The enemy is on the attack. The base is oh, on the The enemy is on the attack. Training. 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 Lost. Destroy the base, Commander. At once. Training. 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 Yes. At once.
at once. Kill the enemy. At once, at once. This is war, sublime war. There can be no retreat. You did surprisingly well on Arrakis. But there is much more to learn about the barren spice planet. There is a native population. They are called Fremen. A desert people. Wanderers that wear water reclamation units called still suits. They are of little use to us. But they can be very dangerous. We must also consider the Imperial Sardukar. They were born to serve an emperor. Without one, they have no purpose. They may prove to be of great value. Even as we speak, they travel to Arrakis. They will support the house that proves to be the strongest. Of course, that will be House Harkonnen. You would do well to seek an alliance with them as soon as possible. This is what passes for a Harkonnen military commander? <laughs> I fear my father was losing his senses. Our father chose this one to lead our forces on Arrakis. The Book of Fade speaks of a single fire slug bringing defeat upon an entire horde of Anthrak. Appearances can be deceiving. And optimism clouds judgment. We shall see soon enough. Ha! When he and the Mentat return to Arrakis, I shall go with them to oversee the spice mining. You? Why should you go? I am the oldest. My father requests it. Then he has lost his senses. The Mantat will continue to oversee you. If you prove ineffective, you witness the fate of our last commander. So what? I am to remain here on Gady Prime? Draining the Baron's pustules? Wiping the spittle from his innumerable chin? Study your charm film book, brother. You insolent! Uh, uh. I shall be Baron soon. Perhaps even Emperor. Then you'll pay for your disrespect, baby brother. Abject terror consumes me. Do be careful on Arrakis. A knife in the back can come from any hand. Perhaps even a trusted one. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtless you've heard the ancient expression, trust him like a brother. These two give the phrase an entirely new subtext. Blood will be shed before their private war is over. If you get between them, that blood will be yours. In the meantime, you will continue to capture territories. The barren spice must flow.